I don't love baseball cards. Got them, got them, need them, got them, got them, got them, need them, got them, need them, need them, got them, got them, got them, got them, need them. Welcome to another episode of Remember the Great Sports Flea Market Antique Mall Yard Sale Pickup Videos. It's that time of year again, everybody. Yard sale time. I have kind of like a mixed bag of pickups that I'm going to show you today. Uh, some of these items I picked up in antique malls over the past month or so. But the last item I'm going to show you is actually my first yard sale find of the year in 2020. This is actually going to be a two-part video. And I'm going to explain that a little bit more when I get to the final item. So I'm not going to take too much of your time. This is kind of an introduction to part two. So let me just jump right in here and show you some of the awesome deals that I just found. Now this first item, I'm going to show first, only because I don't want it rolling around while I'm trying to make a video. And it is a Louisville Slugger, circa 1980s I'm guessing, Tony Gwynn bat. Now unfortunately, it has been cracked. You can see the crack right there. It's not a horrible crack, but it is cracked. The bat's still intact. But this bat was only $4 at a flea market that I went to. I went through the bats and they had only two bats. They had a Tony Gwynn and a George Brett. Well, the George Brett, probably because I live in Missouri, you know, Kansas City effect, we'll call it. They wanted $7.99 for the Brett. And I probably would have bought it, but it was a child-sized bat. Or like a youth bat. And I thought, you know, if it was a full-size bat like the Gwen that I'm holding here, I probably would have bought it. But for $4, they had Tony Gwen, And it said, crack bat, 4 bucks. And I'm like, you know, my philosophy is if I can find a Hall of Famer for like less than 10 bucks on a store model bat, I typically buy it. Depending on condition, of course. So I thought this was a pretty cool find. You know, uh, I know I have a person that watches my channel that really enjoys collecting Tony Gwynn items. You know, this is something that I know that they would salivate over, especially for the price that I found it for. So maybe you already got a Tony Gwynn bat, but, you know, for four bucks, now I have one also. So moving on to the next item. Now this next deal, this just goes to prove if you search hard enough, you can find bargains. So I went into this antique mall and they had a whole display of just baseballs, signed baseballs. And I started thumbing through it and a lot of the balls were signed by, how do I say this the nice, nicest way I can put it, scrubs. Meaning they were guys that were prospects, you know, 10 years ago that never made it out of double A. You know, they flamed out in the minor leagues. You know, maybe they had a cup of tea or a cup of coffee in the major leagues. And, you know, played a few games. But the majority of them were flameouts. You know, in other words, they were wasted baseballs, in my opinion. So I started going through them, and I started thumbing through them. And lo and behold, I come across a very early signature of a New York Yankees prospect... Gary Sanchez on an official Major League Selig ball and it is authenticated by Onyx and it has its corresponding paperwork of Gary Sanchez and the sticker matches up on the ball. Let me take it out of that plastic so you can see it a little bit better. But you can see the picture of Gary at a young age, Gary Sanchez. This is certified by Onyx Inc. Corresponding whatever. And Onyx still makes cards of players here and there. But this is what I paid for it, everyone. Gary Sanchez, New York Yankee All-Star, for only 20 bucks in a cube. I took it out of the cube so I could show it to you guys. 20 bucks on a Gary Sanchez. So, 
I couldn't pass that up. I didn't have Gary Sanchez's autograph. From what I've been looking at online, he doesn't even sign this way anymore. This is like his rookie signature. You know, some people can comment below if they'd like, you know, on that. I've never gotten his autograph, and for $20 on a ball, I couldn't pass it up. So, that's my second find. And I'm going to have to do a little editing to show you my third find. So, just hang with me. Alright, so this final item, I'm going to have to zoom out and move my sign only because I don't want to mess up my table too much here. But I was looking on Craigslist and this yard sale said sports cards. Starts at 10 a.m. So I'm like, okay, I'm not going to go early. You know, they're saying 10 a.m. Maybe they're going to not get set up, blah, blah, blah. So I show up 10.20. You know, somewhere in there. And I go up to the guy and I said, uh, you know, I saw you had baseball cards or sports cards listed. But, oh, I sold them already. I'm like, oh, man, you're kidding me. Yeah, I sold them a couple hours ago. I'm like, okay. But, he said, I think I have some more. Let me go find them. So he starts rooting around. And this guy's moving is what he tells me. And he starts rooting around. And he walks out with this. I'm going to bring this up here slowly but surely. I'm going to have to zoom out. It's a, it's a huge box, basically, of 1970s football and baseball. So I kind of organized these because they were just kind of thrown in the box. I didn't really look through them, but I kind of made them stacked neatly these were not neatly stacked like they are in here this uh shoe box that's inside the box i haven't even touched so that's kind of how it is so just when i went through the little amount that i went through to decide if i was buying this is what i found a terry bradshaw and also Walter Payton. So I'm thumbing through these and there's really not a lot in here. I did what I like to call the five minute shuffle. So I shuffled through them and you know the guy's like oh you know it's just football and basketball. And I said okay well here's the thing dude. Um, there's not one basketball card in here from what I could see because I was really getting excited because you guys have watched my channel you know that I've been you know super huge about you know collecting uh, vintage basketball so i'm like man if this guy's got 70s basketball i'm all over this box well i went through it you know the five minute shuffle i'll call it and all i saw was baseball and football and this guy swore up and down no no there's basketball and i said dude i'm telling you unless you got some cards somewhere else <laughs> i'm not so my guess is, is he probably sold the basketball cards to the guy that was there before me and thought he sold this box to the guy that was there, you know, before me as well with the baseball in it because half of it, like I said, is baseball. So I'm going to wrap this video up. This is going to be a two-parter because we're going to go through this box and see if we can find some more hidden gems like this Bradshaw and Walter Payton in here. Hopefully there's a whole treasure trove. I mean, I'm... Seeing a Phil Necro right there on top. That's a Hall of Famer. So I'm going to kind of sort through this before I come back on camera here. Kind of show you what I get. And then we're going to go through these together. But I paid 15 bucks for this entire box. I would estimate there's probably 2,500 to 3,000 cards here. So the guy said, well, what will you offer me? I said, 15 bucks. He's like, sold. So stay with me. Watch part two. We're going to go through this box a little more thoroughly and see what kind of 70s goodness we got in here. So thanks for tuning in for another episode, and I look forward to your comments below.